Welcome to the fastest stuff in town. Today we're going to start the Sot Dav Chav Gimel. We're going to begin in the middle of a Mishnah on Chav Beis Amid Beis, four lines from the bottom. Nit mis minchasa. Let's say the mincha of the Sota became tame. So ad shul kad shibikli, but it was before it was put into a kli. So harhi kechol hamanachis. So it has the same status of any. Mincha offering says Rashi shenit with it became tummy before it was kodesh in a kli and it can be redeemed and Rashi says v'teitzel chulin v'hamoyis yikna acheres with that money you can purchase another flower offering because since it was not yet put into a kli sharis it did not yet accept upon itself an element of kedusha sanguf however v'imishikad shiv kli once that happens, it now has an element of Kedushas and Guf, and it cannot simply go out to Chulin, you have no choice but to burn it. These are the following cases in which, when it comes to this woman who's a Saita, the din is that it has to be burned as we continue. If she says that I'm impure, in other words, she admits to her guilt that she was in fact intimate with this other man that she secluded herself with. Furthermore, if you have witnesses that come and says she's Tomei, if she refuses to drink, or for that matter, if the husband says that I don't want my wife to drink, that if while they were traveling for her to be tested, they had be it together, the husband and the wife, so then again, we don't have her drink the mesota, and therefore the mincha if was brought is now burned. The whole hanasua is kohanim. Any time they're married to kohanim, which means we're dealing with aishas kohen, the wife of a kohen, mincha isehin nistrafois. The mincha offering is burned. This is going to be just the beginning of question seven, which says madua minchas aishas kohen enoch nechelas. It's not eaten. Then oil a kohil. It's not brought up completely up on the Mizbech either. El Nisrefes Ke'etzim, it's burned like fire. Omis Pazeres Al Beis Hadeshen, or it's scattered uh, by the Beis Hadeshen, but not on the Mizbech. So, the Gemara is going to discuss why. Why do we do this? Um, but that's what the Mishnah here says. Now, when it comes to an Ishes Kayan, the din is that her Mincha will be burned. However, if you're dealing with a Basis Solshin, this is a Kayan. So a Bas Yisrael who marries a Kohen, min chasen is So as we said, the it will be burned, which means even if it's kosher, the Kohen, always, the Kohenes shenise Yisrael, however, if you have a Kohenes who ends up marrying a Yisrael, min chasen echelas. So that it is that the mincha is eaten. It says Rashi, the whole minchas coin kol tiel will siachel. When it comes to a coin who brings a mincha offering, it has to be completely burned. Of a kohenes and a sul Yisrael. But if let's say she married Yisrael, nechelas, then that mincha offering is eaten. The chen kohenes alman the grusha shehavia minchas and nechelas. So ma bein coin lo kohenes. The Gemara gives, I believe, four answers to this question, which is going to be question eight and also TB4. Mehem arba hachilukim shebein koin lekohenes. So minchas kohenes nechelas. We already said that if it's a mincha of a woman who is a kohen and she, let's say, marries Israel, for example. So in that situation, the din is that the mincha offering is is eaten. Uh, that is the that is the din. However, minchas kain in an achelas. So when it comes to the mincha of a kohen, it's not eaten. So let's say, for example, uh, she's not. Let's say she's not even married. So we're just talking about she's a bas kohen. So if she brings a mincha offering, that mincha offering is eaten. However, if it's a kohen who brings the mincha offering, it has to be completely burned on the mizbech. Kohenes mechaleles v'koin ena mechaleles. If you have a person who is a kohenes and she marries uh, someone in which her children will be halalim, so the din is that she will also become profaned, and therefore because of that, she will not be able to eat truma, if, she, if she's boil someone's apostle. The koyin in a However, koyin, even though his children can become halalim, but he himself will not become a chol, only he. 
says Rashi, Im Nasa Grusha Zayna Bhalala, if a coin marries a divorced woman, so this is all explained in the Gemara. Kohenes Matamla Mesa Vin Koin Matamla Mesa. As we know, only Isser of a Kohen of coming in contact with a mace is if it's a man, but not by a woman. Koin Oyecha Bikashi Kadashim, the Ain Kohenes Ochelas Bikashi Kadashim. So when it comes to Kachi Kadashim, a Kachatnas, an Asham, a Mincha, all of them, the Pasik says, Kol Zachar Bakohanim Yochelanu. So it says, all men. So therefore, it's only a Kohen, not a Kohenes. A Kohenes is not allowed to eat Kachi Kadashim. Uh, again, such as a chatas asham mincha. So my being ishal isha. What's the difference between a man and a woman? Right. This is unfortunately a, a question that near 2023 people can't answer. But the Mishnah is brave enough to answer this question. There is a difference between a man and a woman. Ish poireya upoireim ve'ena isha paras uparamas. What is this referring to? So Rashi's kishu minuga when she has or they have saras leprosy. Poirea Raisho, you have to let your hair grow wild. Upoire begadam, you have to rip your clothing. That's only by a man, not by a woman. Haish Madiras Benai Benaz, in a Isha Madiras Beno Benazir, so saw Halachamish Masinai, that a father can make his son into a Nazir, but the daughter, the mother doesn't have that authority. Haish Megalech on the Zeros Aviv, then the Isha Megalech on the Zeros Aviha. So, if let's say it distinguishes whether it's Bachayeh or Bamoisa, the Gemara over there brings down. If a person says that I'm going to become a Nazar al Manas with the money that my father designated, but he died, I'm going to use that for the Karbanos so that it actually works. That's only by a, fa- by a man. Haish Makadesh is Bita, even in the Ishim is Kadesh is Bita. Only as meeting the sati says that the husband has the authority to marry off his daughter, not his wife. The ish meicheres bito, the ain ish meicheres as bito. A man can sell his daughter as a servant. However, uh, says Rashi, will alma as an alma vriya while she's a katana, which is brought down. The third parak in Ksuvas discusses this. The ain ish meicheres as bito. However, a woman, the mother, cannot sell her daughter. The ish niskol. When there is the death penalty, only the man is stripped of his clothing and he's naked, but not a woman. A man, when he is killed, uh, they used to display his body for a short amount of time on a tree. They used to hang him, but he can only do that to a man, not to a woman. If a person steals... And because they stole, you have to pay back what you stole. They don't have any money, so they can be sold as an evidentiary. But that's only when it comes to a man, but not to a woman who steals. Okay. Says the Gemara. Tanurvan. Kol hanesuah is kahuna. Anyone who marries into kahuna, which means she becomes an ashes kayan. Min chaysem nisrafais. So her mincha is burned. And it doesn't make any difference, says Rashi, if it's a mincha sota or mincha snedava, it's burned. Now, ketzad, ketzad. Kohenes levivi Israelis, if you have any of these women, shenisa sakoyin, ein mincha senechelas. The din is that the mincha is not eaten. Why? Because the man, her husband, who is a kohen, here the kohen can't eat, even though the kohanim do eat the shirayim, but here, since by co- the carbon of a Kohen, the whole thing is burned, so the husband here has a chalik to not eat it, um, therefore, uh, it, it, but not to burn it uh, entirely. Because she has a chalik in it. Either only when the Kohen... Uh, fine. Uh, so therefore, because of that, since she has a chalik in it, so therefore it shouldn't be kohen. So if it's a Kohen that brings it, it's completely burned. If it's a Yisrael that brings it, it's completely eaten by the Kohanim, the Shirayim. But what do you do when you have this mixture of this woman? So what do you do in this situation? So, El HaKaymetz Karev Atzmo, you do the Kemitza, and then the Hashirayim Karevim Atzmo, and then the Shirayim is brought up separately. So Ikri Khan Koshuhumimenu Taktiru. Well that's a problem because once you burn 
the part which is from the kamitza, you shouldn't be allowed to burn the shirayim. So the question is, how could you burn it even bifneyatzmai? The rest of the mincha is as if it's only. So, so what's the answer? So, so Amr Yehuda, Bereid Rav Shimon ben Pazi, the Masik who was from Eitzim, that the rest of the mincha is as though it's only like wood. You're right. There's an iser of Bal Taktiru that you once you burn the part of the kmitza, uh you're not allowed to be able to burn the shirayim. But it's only if you're burning the shirayim as mincha, but you're burning it like it's firewood. And therefore, that is uh, allowed. Because, as we said, anything that is part of it, which is the shirayim, is to be part of the, on the Mizbech, to be burned, the rest may not be burned. So that's the din. When you burn a certain part, the rest cannot be burned. That's Baal Taktiru. So how do they have a right to be able to burn this? Lachar, you shouldn't be able to burn it with the Atzmo. The answer is, it's only L'shem... Um, it's only being done with shame, the kamitza, uh, for as the the shirayim is only as like wood. So I wrote over here, e- either only when the coin brings it, the carbon is completely burned, but it's her mincha, so her chalik says don't burn it, but do a kamitza. Okay, so therefore that's what we do as a compromise. You can't eat it because it's connected to the coin. You can't completely burn it, because she has a chalik in it. Which is going to be question 7. Again, Madua minchas isha kayin enu nechelas, enu oil kowil, rather it gets burnt up. So the answer is, enu nechelas, you can't eat it, mimnei sheisha kayin chalik ba. And since the kayin has a chalik, it's not eaten, because like, the mincha of a kayin is not eaten. The uh, enu oil kowil, but you don't burn it up completely like a carbon mincha of a kayin, mimnei sheisha isha chalik ba. So because of this issue, so it's unquite it's a little bit uh, challenging what a person should do in that uh, situation. So again, you just you could burn it, but you just do it with shame eats him, like it's like it's firewood. So you're just not allowed to do it as a rechni chayach, like as a carbon. However, with shemitzim is allowed. So Anicha Rebbe Lezer to Eislei High Sfara, he agrees with that opinion. Or Rebbe Lezer Eislei who High Sfara doesn't agree with that. So Michael Neymar to the Abdul Kara Rebbe Lezer Rebbe Shimon to sign your Rebbe Lezer Rebbe Shimon Oimer that kaimitz kare ba'atzma when you first of all you do the kmitzah by itself. And then the Hashirayim, not that it's burned on the Mizbech with Shum Eitzim, but rather the Shirayim is Pazrim al Beis Hadeshen. What you do is you spread it out, just sprinkle it on the Beis Hadeshen, not on the Mizbech, and that's um, all you're going to do. The Shirayim is uh, Pazrim al Beis Hadeshen. So continue to Gimel Amid Beis. Now, by a feel or a bundle of Pligal Rebbe Lezer, Rebbe Shimon, Al Bemin Chaschaite, Shel Kohanim, the only time that he argues is Dafka when it comes to Minchas Chaite. The Basak Ravahi. Of Abaha, feel a Rabbanan Maidu. But in this situation, he'll even agree, uh, the Rabbanan will even agree. It says Rashi. Hak Ravahi. The Basak Ravahi. Abaha, the La Basak Ravahi. The Dilma Batra Didaz. Maybe we go after her Chalik. So we go after her Chalik, so it's not the law to be burned. The Shirayim Gemurim Ninhu, they're complete Shirayim. Therefore, it can't be burned just like a. Um, that's it. We have feel rabban maidu the mispazrin. In this case, everyone, even he agrees you have to spread it out in the base of dashin. Then the mish, then the mishnah said basis shal hanasui v'chul. So my time to recall v'chul minchas koyin kol tia that a koyin's minchas has to be burnt lo si achel. It's not to be eaten. Koyin v'loy kohenas. It's only koyin that did it, but not by Kohenes. Kohenes mischalel as Kohen in a mischalel. No, in the Amakra, lo yichal zara ba'amam. Zaroi mischal v'hu in a mischalel. Only his children will become chalalim, but not the, the man himself. Kohenes metama v'hu, so my time in the Amakra, emro el kohanim b'nei Aaron, b'nei Aaron, lo benos Aaron, that's going to be a condition. So it says, dafke b'nei Aaron is matsuv in the dinner of Tum and Tahara regarding Tumas Mace. Koyin oicha bekatsha gedoshim dechsev kol zacher b'vnei Aaron yachalena. Therefore, they excuse the kohenas. Uma ben ish chul tarban ish enli el ish ish manayin kishu oimer kishu oimer vasarua asher boy harikan shnayim. So the dinim of saras 
is equally applicable for a man and to a woman. So even Cain matam whatever ish or Indian shalomata ish pare shalomata ish pare bechul. So as we said, the difference is when it comes to the growing of the hair wild and the ripping of the clothes. So that is the only distinction. Otherwise, the dinim are of saras are the same. Okay. That this din applies only by a man, um, that he's allowed to be, make uh, his son into a nazar, but his wife can't do that for his, their son. Again, it's that, as we said, if the father, for example, has money and he or designates carb or carbonos uh, because he had saras, and he was he was a nazir rather, and then after the son the the father died, the son says, you know what, I'll be a nazir now also. I'll deny that I could use this. Uh, for the carbonos, so that din only works that his nazirus is chal only by a man, and he can use his uh, his father's uh, money or his animals. That's dafka the man that marries her off. So the whole din of selling off your daughter is only the man has that right. So only the man who is dying gets stoned naked. My time of it, rug oh so him. My oh so ilay my so boy saw scooting her. Except who say so as the isha who oh as the isha ha he. It says explicitly that she also gets killed. El oh so bloke susa evil oh so bloke susa. It means him without clothing, but her we're not going to do that. Again, it shows the dignity that we show and the respect for a woman. Hish. Nitla of the ain who so my time I'm a crown the salisa was all eights o sublo o sa we only hang a man but not a woman each name her begin a vassal in isha and her begin a vassal why would we not sell her for stealing my time I'm a crown but name her begin a vassal begin a vassal of love again a saw it's only by him and as Rashi says he ain't low mala shalim if he can't pay it off so therefore we say we're going to sell him, and therefore that's how we'll be able to pay the person he stole from. That din only applies to a man, not to a woman. We will continue the fourth parak. In tomorrow's daf. Adkan.